officially turned around, guys. We are back, baby. We are back. We are back. Yeah. Classic. We are back. That's we right. are back. We are getting momentum. Back. Momentum. <laughs> All right, guys. You know it, I know it. There's a lot of excitement and buzz over the fact that crypto is officially back. The early markup phase began. Crypto meme coins have been pumping. There's a disparity between uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and the meme coins and the altcoins. I did an interview with a young man. He had some questions for me, I, and we were on a Zoom call, and I said, man, go ahead and record this and then ask me all your questions, and I'm gonna post that here in the next couple of days. Some very good stuff. Now, I'm gonna be talking again about Dogecoin, and I want you to understand, I am not excited about meme coins, their uh, ecosystems, their communities, that isn't what interests me. The reason why I'm talking about Dogecoin is not because I carried a big bag from a previous crypto cycle and it's finally coming back. I didn't. I sold mine in the last cycle and I accumulated in the winter and I've already gotten a beautiful 100% pump. What I'm excited about, and I'm talking to you guys about Dogecoin today, which has been breaking out. I gave signals on this in the Discord. If you don't know what the Discord is, it's a Stock Squad Patreon. It's myself and three other seasoned traders, Stock Mo, Keenan Grace, and Stock Up with Larry Jones, where we give trade alerts and technicals and answer questions. I've given at least four or five posts about Dogecoin, and it's through studying the charts and studying the history of the charts that I have some interesting observations to share with you guys today. Again, I'm not gonna become the Doge father. I'm not gonna be your Doge daddy. Don't come looking for updates on Doge on my channel every day, but while I see something interesting in the charts, I'm gonna be talking about it, and I think something is brewing behind Dogecoin. But Dogecoin, it was the slowest meme coin out of the gate. SHIB was running faster, Floki was running faster, Bonk was running faster, I've, a ton of other uh, uh, names have been running faster than Dogecoin. But Dogecoin is the legacy large cap crypto, which is expected to move slower, but I don't think it's had its big move yet that's gonna surprise a lot of people. Now you say, okay, Josh, I'm gonna share some charts with you. Okay, but do you have any confluence? Does anyone else agree with you? Any other intelligent analysts see the same thing? Well, I wanna share this article with you guys. Dogecoin could hit $1 if history repeats itself. Analyst reveals when. Now I can hear it already. People, I've said for years, Dogecoin won't get to a dollar. Shib, Shiba Inu will never get to a penny. And that it's just impractical. It would cause the market cap to be too high. But I am going to say that through an analyzing what he has said and what I've seen in the charts and considering the whole big picture of what's happening with the meme coins, I'm gonna tell you that at this point in time, I think that it is possible for Dogecoin to get to a dollar and above. It is not possible for Shiba Inu to get to a penny. And I'm gonna break that down in this video. But this video is not about Shiba Inu. But I am gonna be talking about circulating supply, market cap, and what the charts tell me. I'm gonna make a case for you guys. And the bottom line is, after we had that first initial 100% pump up from under 10 uh, cents to around 20 cents, wonderful 100% opportunity. I have since let it come down. I didn't hold it. I cashed out at resistance. I gave that target in the Discord. Cashed out, but I've since been buying on this dip because I believe this impending rip is coming. So what does this guy say about the charts and why does he believe that there's a big move coming in this article? Well, he looks at the entire history of Dogecoin, and he's pointed out that there is a very strong pattern that has occurred three times with this current crypto cycle that he's expecting it to occur a fourth time. So not just looking at his chart, I went back into my chart and thought if I could see if I could duplicate this scenario and understand it. And yes, there is, there is a run up on Dogecoin in the past that was preceded by it coming pushed down by a descending line of resistance, and then a very long sideways uh, flat stage, which is typically referred to as an accumulation stage that typically lasts over 600 days. So a couple years down in the valley. This has happened three times. Now, the interesting thing is the very first pump was 1,500%. That was the first pump, and that was about a 1,000 day spans. Between 900 and 1,000 days, you had the 
pump part of the phase followed by 600 days of sideways flat action. And then we got the second cycle move on Dogecoin, which was a 3000% pump. Now this is gonna get interesting. That again had the same thing where around 300 days of a, of a descending underneath resistance from that pump of 3000% followed by another 600 days of a flat sideways price action. But we went from 1500% to 3000%. And then we got the last big move, which was the last crypto cycle when Dogecoin went up actually 20,000%, a very low cost crypto to a roughly a, a 74 cent crypto, a massive move, 20,000% move. But again, it fell underneath a descending line of resistance and it's moved sideways for over 600 days. Now, here's the first observation I want you guys to consider. Let's compare this with Bitcoin. The opposite happened with Bitcoin. The initial pump on Bitcoin was around 16,000% and the next pump was around 6,000% and the last pump was 600%. Well, the opposite's happening with Dogecoin. The moves are getting bigger and bigger as it's maturing. The complete opposite of what's happening with Bitcoin. So here's the bottom line. We, are, we have this pattern of a thousand days in the same exact pattern. Now we just broken out of a descending line of resistance. We've completed another thousand day run. And so there is the expectation that we will have some kind of a move on Dogecoin. Now, if it were to follow its path, this could potentially be the very biggest move it's ever had. Now, I don't think that's gonna happen. This particular analyst suggests that Dogecoin would go up 480% from the breakout point. So that would put us above a dollar. It would put us around a dollar to a dollar 14. And so he's coming out and saying it's the technicals that tell us that this could actually reach a dollar. Now you have the argument of the fundamentals, uh, but there is this fact that right now the meme coins, they're the ones running right now. And so a lot of the money that might have gone into the alts in the past doesn't seem to be flowing into the alts. It appears to be flowing into Bitcoin and the meme coins. And so there's a reason why, and that's something I'm going to be talking about here soon, but I want to be very specific in this video. All right, long introduction for the video today. This is the Stocks with Josh show. I appreciate you guys joining me. I have another video coming out that I'm going to get posted ideally before Monday, and it's on in Nvidia. And I think I have narrowed down what is going to happen with Nvidia in the coming days, or at least a very good technical possibility that I'm going to share with you guys. Do not miss that video. And again, thank you for hitting the like. It pushes the video out to more viewers. Hit the subscribe if you want to stay connected to what is happening in the crypto and stock market. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the bull versus bear conversation on Dogecoin. Dogecoin right now has a market cap today of 24.6 billion, which is pretty high for a community or social driven crypto project. And when it had hit 80 cents, it peaked at a $90 billion uh, market cap. And that's the principal reason that people were saying that it would have a hard time getting to a dollar because it would push it over a $100 billion market cap, making it much bigger than many other legitimate projects, okay? Now for kicks and giggles, let's compare the circulating supply of Doge, SHIB, and ADA. This is, gets pretty interesting. In 2021, when Dogecoin was hitting an all-time high, the circulating supply was 130 billion, which is quite a few. Today, the circulating supply, because there are more Doge being created, is at around 143 billion. So you've got to keep that into consideration when you're considering the momentum of the price action because it's going to require even more momentum to pick up and push up $143 billion worth of Dogecoin than it had when it was just $130 billion. Now, if you want to compare that to Shiba Inu and why I said I don't see Shiba Inu hitting a penny, but I do see Dogecoin hitting a dollar, Shiba Inu has $590 trillion in their circulating supply, which is ridiculous. They had one quadrillion tokens upon creation. And just to put in perspective how much one quadrillion tokens is, that is 1,000 trillion 
tokens, okay? And so the circulating supply for Shiba Inu is through the roof. Now I can immediately hear the DGENs, the SHIB lovers telling me, and I, I don't dislike SHIB, I'm an investor in SHIB, but we're just talking about what price can these achieve. I can hear them saying right now, but Shiba Inu has built in a burning mechanism which is going to address this massive circulating supply. And I think that is good, and I think it's definitely bullish overall for the price of Shiba Inu, but I think that what they're trying to accomplish is just insane. There was too many of them made. I still think that Shiba Inu is gonna to continue to grow, but they have to burn tokens, and I think this is where you're going to see people focusing back on Dogecoin as a possible solution, which is less inflationary than Shiba Inu. And so that's one of the reasons why I think that Dogecoin is going to be a place where people take some of their profits from Shiba Inu possibly roll them over into Dogecoin. Now Dogecoin still has quite a large circulating supply themselves with 143 billion uh, tokens. And we know that because we can compare it to ADA, which has 45 billion in circulating supply. So largely Dogecoin is three times the number of coins than exist on the ADA platform. And on that note, when Dogecoin price came up to 20 cents recently, it surpassed ADA in market share, which is quite fascinating. And so we want to put it all into perspective. Dogecoin, three times bigger than ADA, and that's a concern when you're looking at price. Shiba Inu, too many coins to ever count beyond the scope of most people's imagination. And in the same way, Dogecoin could actually bring their circulating supply down by adding a burning mechanism in the same way that Shiba Inu did, which would be another bullish and catalyst moment for Dogecoin's price. Now I'm gonna take you into the charts and give you guys some predictions for where I see price action going in the near term. But before I do, I had a few questions on the MEXC exchange that I introduced to everybody yesterday. So if you went and created a MEXC account, let me review something I said yesterday. So MEXC will allow you to transfer money in, they'll allow you to buy crypto, and they'll allow you to transfer it off without doing KYC. But if your internet connection points out to MEXC that you are in the United States and attempting to use their platform, they will say no. They'll give you a little banner saying you're not allowed to use this service. But that's why you can use a secondary service called a VPN, which is a software that simply takes your existing router, which is signaling where you live, the city and country and state that you live in, and it says, you're not really here, you're over in Brazil, or you're over in some other country, a country that isn't under the restrictions that the United States has placed on foreign exchanges, and so you're able to point there, you're able to create an account on MEXC, you can transfer money from your Coinbase over to your MEXC account where you can buy all the meme coins that I've introduced that I'm currently buying. I shared my meme portfolio with you guys in my last video. You can buy them all there pretty easily. And it's a decent interface. It's got the lowest fees and that's why I shared it with everybody. And I'm gonna be doing some tutorial videos on what I just described to help people who are a little bit more technologically challenged on how to go through that process. But I also wanna remind you guys what the same thing I said yesterday, if you open up a MEXC account, you're using it to trade. When the push up is over, you've got to transfer your money back off to a publicly traded Coinbase account or a cold wallet. That's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. So I don't want you to come later and say, oh, I got left behind, I left my money on the platform. I'm not gonna be leaving my money on these platforms after we get done with the crypto bull market. All right, let's get into the final part. Here's where we're at. We are 38 days approximately away from the halving event, which is going to be, I believe, April 17th. That's the Bitcoin halving event. This is going to add an additional catalyst to the crypto industry. We just had a breakout in a lot of our favorite projects. Bitcoin has reached all time highs and all the meme coins have broken out of their descending resistance lines. And so we've come back a little bit and it was a buy the dip opportunity with the idea that there could be some rip ahead. I wanna clarify something I said about Bitcoin in yesterday's video. I'm expecting the possibility for Bitcoin to either move sideways or come down over the next 30 days. That doesn't mean that everything's going to pull back. When Bitcoin cools off, that allows money to flow out of Bitcoin into other projects. When Bitcoin heats up, sometimes it then sucks up all the investment supply and it pushes higher. And I would say that even though I think it's going to pull back, I think, as I was saying, once we get that move above that red line, that final Fibonacci line, that all-time high line, that the strongest phase of the Bitcoin bull run 
begins, which is the final stage. It's phase four, and that's where you get the largest percentage move right at the end. Now, at the moment, we're at that starting gate, and so I would expect a little bit of pause before we just break forward and keep going. A little bit of pause, a little bit of pullback. My pullback price for Bitcoin is right around 61K. I think that's where we could come back to. And so getting into anything, you need to be aware that right now, one of the strategies I've been employing is just doing some DCAing. I, I have an ideal amount that I want to own. I have a timeline in which I think things might be pulling back because they're not blasting off right now. Some are breaking out and I'm watching those, but those that are not breaking out right now, I'm doing incremental buys. And if I do incremental buys on Bitcoin or meme coins between now and the next 30 days before the next leg up, then I'll get a better average price because you never know how exactly low it's gonna go. And so if you wait for it to hit, you know, some specific price and it never gets there and it takes off without you, then you're not in the trade at all. And so that's the concern. So ultimately this video is to advise you guys that do not be sleeping on Dogecoin. It is the legacy of all meme coins. It's a large cap meme coin and it's been sitting at 15 cents for the last week, which I believe personally was an incredible moment to buy. There's hundreds of percentage points in there for profit and I think it's a good opportunity. Whereas I think strong support for Dogecoin right now is back at 10 cents. And so here's the message there. This is what's called for me a very good risk to reward. I'm sitting at 15 cents or 17 cents, right? It could drop five or seven cents, which would be a pretty big uh, scenario of losing capital. If I put in $20,000, I might end up with 12,000. That's the risk. But if I put in $20,000 and we at 15 cents and we go up to 30 or even 60 or 90, well, the reward potential on this upcoming move for assets which are actually showing a lot of strength right now makes sense to me because there's more reward opportunity than there is risk. I can measure it, I can put in a stop loss, I can get kicked out at 14 cents and so I there's tons of opportunity there to manage this trade responsibly without getting yourself burnt. So there's the overview for today. I'm, I want to keep putting this one on your radar. Again, I'm going to repeat myself. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not a Doge fan. I'm not a Doge lover. I love the chart. Price is the truth. And the Dogecoin chart makes sense to me. That's why I'm investing in it. That's why I've been talking about it in the Discord. And just so you're aware, if you all become Doge Army and you like the technicals I'm laying down and I get done with Doge and then you ask me for a weekly update on Doge, it will be dead to me. Just imagine Kevin O'Leary saying, nope, I pulled my capital. It's dead to me. I'm moving on to something else. And uh, on that note, I am going to move on to some stocks, even though I've been doing more crypto lately. We're going to talk about what's going on with NVIDIA uh, because it had a massive pullback and there's the charts telling the story. It's telling what likely will happen with the price action over the next couple months. And I want you guys to see that. So don't miss the video. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. Appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for hitting the like. Thank you for helping to grow this page. Throw a heart in the comment section and just say hi. Peace and blessings. Take care.